what have you seen out of that tape and what your team did well, what Will Lahar did well? They're a good team. We are a good team. It was an entertaining soccer game. There are certainly little nuances that we are going to you know, try and exploit, uh, try and get our team to play a little bit better. Um, they have a, a game today. Obviously, we'll be watching that. So, you know, we're, we're doing what we can to make sure we're prepared. Alan Pulido won't play that game. Uh, is that something you focus on? Not really. Well, they still have capable players, even though it might be a second backup or, you know, whatever. Um, our mantra has been next man steps up. I'm sure that they have, you know, a full roster of good players. So, yes, it will be a loss for them. But at the end of the day, we need to prepare for, you know, Chivas Guadalajara. It's a big club. How's Kelvin doing? And you think he'll be available for good? Like, he was uh, in full today. It was his first day back in full training, so happy to have him back. Victor Rodriguez. Not out here today. Separate program. Ozzy's out here doing a little extra. He's getting closer. So they're all getting closer, but they're all on their separate programs. What have you made how Jordan McCrary's filled that role uh, in Champions League with Kelvin out? Uh, he's done really well. I think Kelvin might have had a speedier recovery because of, you know, Jordan's play. Um, Jordan, Jordan's been a, a surprise for us. I mean, he, you know, came into camp just working to get a job. And we enjoyed that out of him because we like guys that work hard. But then he started to catch fire a little bit. You can see his confidence grow. You know, his, his attacking movements are pretty good. His timing going forward are pretty good. And he started to impress us with, you know, some of his soccer. So that's been, that's been really pleasant to see. I mean, he played in arguably one of our biggest games in the early year so far against Guadalajara and did okay. What does Guadalajara do so well, if you were to give us a scouting report? They're a very mobile team. They, they're, they're interchanging of all the parts and pieces, you know, how they, mid, they run in midfield um, and just, you know, their quality. I mean, they're very fluid, organized. The coach is very organized. Uh, you know, it's just the top teams in our in our CONCACAF region. When you have a guy like Waylon Francis who played as well as he did, this is a good problem to have, but how do you manage those that rotation? With honesty. You just got to talk to the players. I mean, the players have to know where they stand. They have to know sometimes it helps them when they have the reasons behind whether they're playing or not playing. So if you communicate with them and be honest with them, you know, they might not like the answer sometimes but at least you're giving it to them straight, and then you try and give them things that they can work on. What have you learned from previous trips down to Mexico, like Club America two years ago, that maybe you can use um, down in Guadalajara? Well, again, we have, you know, uh, Gonzalo, who helps us with all that. Uh, even if we hadn't have gone down to America or Monterey or any other places we've been, we have an in. So uh, Gonzo has helped Grant Clark, our team admin, about where to stay, what we're doing, the program, and all that. So it's really been beneficial. But Juana said uh, walking out on the pitch, he could barely breathe. And he was so fired up, and, and he went to Clint Dempsey to kind of settle him down. Is that an experience that you, you need to say anything the next match, or that just takes care of itself? No. It's way better when Deuce says something to the kid than me, the stodgy old coach. I mean, that's what senior players do with young players. That's just Clint doing what he's supposed to do. He's a veteran leader on the team, and he's got to help the young guys. It's the same thing with, you know, with Roman talking to Tony sometimes, with, you know, uh, Gonzo when he was playing, talking to Christian. Same, same thing. You talked about McCrary. Last year he was with T2, or mm -hmm. TFC2, Wingo. Juana got experience there. S2 has their final preseason friendly and their home opener is just a week out. What are you looking from those kids? They've got 12 on the roster right now. What kind of steps do they need to take to, to look to make the first team either this year or next year? Uh, consistent technical ability under pressure. A good work ethic, which John Hutchinson is very good at instilling into that group. Um, certainly quality has to be there. But we're looking for guys that, you know, can you know, handle some competitive games at the USL level and continue to grow as players. 
And, you know, you see it in, uh, you know, I, I would start way back in the USL days with Brian Ching. I mean, Brian Ching was kind of on the fringe with L.A. He came up to us, got 30 some odd meaningful games and jump started his career. I think the vehicle of having a second team is a very, very good one very positive one we can we can jump forward to lots of different examples um, you know Jordy Delem uh, knew who uh, there's lots of guys that needed those games to really kind of fulfill whatever you know career they're gonna have right now it sounds like Cheney Stadium might have a larger crowd than Starfire could hold what's that mean to get them in front of those those types of fans the types of fans that Seattle support it'll be good the games that, that have been down in Starfire have been great. I mean, over the years, we've had a long history of good games, Open Cup games, all that sort of stuff. But Cheney's new. It's different. I think the timing's good. You know, I think the atmosphere is going to be great. Uh, it gives a chance for the people down south that, you know, maybe couldn't drive up here to see some of those games. It gives them a taste of, you know, some of the young future pros that we have coming.